Hi guys, Tyrant Hill here, welcome. So, um, protecting one's artwork in today's world um, with the age of AI and everyone is trying to steal artwork and all that has become quite a concern for everyone, um, every, every single artist out there. So, um, how is it do we protect our artwork? Well, the good news is the um, good people at the University of Chicago um, the Glaze team, uh, they've released a tool um, some time ago actually. Actually there's two tools they've released. One is called Glaze and the other one is called Nightshade. Um, both of which um, does similar but slightly different things uh, which I'll discuss and go through. And uh, essentially what they do is it makes small little changes to your artwork. Um, small uh, little Essential little uh, shading differences, which uh, which I can show you right now, and all it does is it makes a little bit of artifacts, as you can see. So this is the original artwork right here, the sphere, tri uh, pyramid, and cylinder, and over here we have the shaded version that has been glazed. That's why they call it, got the glazed name, I guess, because it's glazed with something that makes it look uh looks like it's been compressed and whatnot and this on the default intensity so it's not too bad uh, but obviously it has it looks slightly diff off compared to the original and then if we put on a maximum you can see ooh, now that is really really distorted but you might be wondering what what's the whole point of distorting my artwork like this well whole point of it in case you've never heard of glaze before um, glaze is a tool that uh, prevents uh, prevents your artwork from being uh, copied, your art style rather I should say. So it's disrupting style mimicry. So they have an example over here in this in this little video in this uh, website, which I will link in the description below. However, over here, if we go take a look, what we have is the original image, which had. Uh, which is uh, rather photorealistic of a painting of a person with some birds and some red cloth over here. And as you can see, it uh, the AI, when you put this image in, the, in there, the AI thinks it's a Renaissance painting or something. So that's quite neat. Um, it obviously, as you can see, there's still elements of it. It still knows there's a human there, a human woman, and it still knows there's... Um, birds, it still knows there's a piece of red cloth and whatnot. So it'll still be able to recognize the contents of the drawing, but um, it's supposed to prevent your art style from being copied. At least that's how uh, it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's pretty neat if you're concerned of, uh, about your art style being stolen. Um, obviously it doesn't as I've said, it doesn't actually prevent it from still recognizing everything. Um, but thankfully, they've actually released a second piece of work that actually does something like that, which is Nightshade. Now, this is what I am quite excited by, because Nightshade, um, what it does is it dist it works similar to Glaze, so it still produces those little artifact stuff. But unlike Glaze, um, Unlike Glaze, which it makes it uh, uh, changes how the um, AI thinks what kind of art style, this one changes the content. So as you can see, human eyes might see a shaded image of cow in a green field, but the AI might see a large leather purse lying in the grass. So essentially, what this does is it tricks the AI thinking of that uh, what you draw is actually something else and I think that's actually a whole lot more useful because imagine if someone typed in um, I want images of cats and instead it gave you pictures of I don't know motorcycles for some reason and so that would kind of break a lot of things I think um, it'll, it'll kind of be, kind of, uh, be it'll be quite disruptive so Doing this um, is actually quite good because as they say right here, it doesn't rely on the um, 
it doesn't rely on the friendliness of the of the people who are doing uh, who are stealing your artwork because they don't they don't really care they just take your artwork um, and do whatever with it they don't care um, so nightshade is really really cool and it's something that um, you know if you only have if there's only one or two of these poison nightshade artwork in their in their data set that they're training on it's not going to be enough so what really needs to happen is everyone needs to use nightshade everyone needs to put nightshade in uh and nightshade their artwork so that you know if artists um if these ai people are still gonna still scrape it without your permission well it's gonna ruin their models completely and then they're gonna have to figure out how to remove the um remove the problematic artwork shall we say so so yeah i think that's really neat really really neat so um as so as i've shown you over here it it's quite a minimal change uh, for the most part it depends on the on the intensity you put in and uh, as they've mentioned uh if you put it on high intensity it should in theory uh, give better protection of course it's all theoretical, isn't it? So we don't really know. Um, but I don't really want to submit artwork that looks like this, for example. Over here I have Charizard. Uh, this is the original artwork. And this has been glazed a little bit. You can't really see, but there's tiny little artifacts on his breast. That's the easiest part to see. And this is on the highest intensity. And it kind of looks the same. Maybe there's a little bit more waves. As you can see, uh, yeah, there's a little bit more disruptive. But it really depends on the art, the artwork. For example, this is my original dragon, as you can see. And if you put it on the, uh, this is on glaze intensity one, and you can see it's got some artifact, not too much. For example, this has this is nightshade, and again, it does the same thing, but this is on the max intensity. For example, on the max intensity, so it's really, really look like it's gone through a lot of law things for example this has been glazed and nightshaded so it's really bad and this is nightshade on the lowest so as you can see if you nightshade it on the lowest you can barely see a thing there's some some things over there there's looks like some wavy lines over there so um for humans it's really hard to see but um apparently if you're a robot computer you might see this might not be a dragon. This might actually be um, a dog. This is this is actually a dog, guys. This this is definitely a dog. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, as as you can see, if you if you have clear artwork like this, you you might see as you can see this on this on the side of the cylinder. You can obviously see a huge amount of difference. Um, so it depends on the type of artwork you have. Like for example, the Charizard, even the max intensity, like because it's so dark, you can't even see the artifacts. So, the lighter the the lighter the picture, the more you're gonna see it. Like this is very bright, and so you're you're gonna see all of it. So it depends on your artwork. Now, um, using nightshade, and using glaze, um, I have glaze installed right now, as you can, see, but. It's it's a very simple interface. The the nightshade interface will be the same pretty much, but you just have to select, you just select your image from here, and then just select your image and whatnot. Do that. I'm gonna not gonna do that actually, but you can as you can see you add a slider to select default medium high. If you're highest, then it'll be more protection in general, and then render quality and then save the file wherever you want. And as you can see. It can take quite a while. In fact, this timing is not actually that accurate. In my experience, it takes about a couple. It takes about an hour on my much more powerful PC than on not on my recording PC. It says five minutes on my record on uh, my much faster gaming rig, but it actually takes like up to an hour really. And Nightshade takes just about as long. Um, so that's cool. Um, so 
when it comes to using these things, uh, the unfortunate reality is um, you're going to need a GPU. Um, I don't know if they mention it over here uh, where it is, but essentially what you really want is you want to have, um, you're going to want a GPU. Let's go to the Nightshade one. It'll, it'll mention it on the user's guide, but Essentially, you want a an NVIDIA GPU. So if you have AMD GPUs, then, well, tough luck, kind of. Unfortunately, NVIDIA has monopoly on it. You need to have 4 gigs of GDDR5 for whatever memory. So you need more than 4 gigs, actually. And then um, you probably want to install the latest, uh, latest NVIDIA drivers, just called the NVIDIA. And then you want to install this CUDA toolkit. Windows 64, 10, pick your Windows and version and then pick which installer you want. But those are the prerequisites. Um, even if you don't have NVIDIA, you can still run Nightshade slash Glaze. You just have to run it for several hours. It will take an obscenely long amount of time without an NVIDIA GPU, unfortunately. Um, so if you don't have one of those, and I suspect that's quite a lot of people who don't, um, then uh, you're going to have to run it overnight. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's quite unfortunate, but that is what it is. But if you have a gaming PC, if you happen to be a huge gamer, or maybe you're a 3D modeler, and I, I think that's a, quite a lot of artists who are 3D modelers, you probably have some kind of NVIDIA GPU in there. And so you can take advantage of that. Um, so just one more thing, uh, in case you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, uh, which you can still run, uh, there's an alternative you want to do it quicker, uh, hopefully, and that is WebGlaze. They have this WebGlaze over here, but currently it's only invite only, and, uh, it's essentially just Glaze, but it's on the internet as opposed to running it locally. If you can run it locally, I suggest you do and leave this to people who maybe don't have very powerful PCs. But uh, they're offering this to people and all you need to do is send them a DM on Twitter or Instagram at the Glaze project asking them about the WebGlaze account and then uh, about you getting access to WebGlaze rather and then uh, sending them um, samples of your artwork and they'll Maybe or maybe not approve it. Um, I've uh, I've sent in mine just to see if I can get access to it. But they have. Uh, it's really nice that they're offering this for people who may not necessarily have the hardware to run Glaze slash Nightshade. And as I've said, um, if we want to protect everyone, everyone needs to get on. Um, and fight back against this, uh, against this. And the only way to fight back is, and I think the best way, is to really disrupt the AI models. Because if the models are going to be corrupted by this nightshade, and if it's going to start thinking that televisions are coffee mugs for some reason, well, that'll, that'll be great. Because now every time someone types in, like, I want pictures of anime girls into Stable Diffusion, and what comes up is um, a donkey. Well, that's good news for me and that's good news for everyone else. And anyway, this video is getting a bit long. So if you like this video, please share, like, subscribe and all that. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys. Ta-ta.